Hey there everyone! Welcome to the first installment of our new tutorial series for game developers. This series is specifically focused on Unity development, and for this episode we'll be explaining why we chose Unity and why we think you'll get a lot out of that engine. I'm Rob Mitchell, a technical game designer from Burlington, Vermont. I've been doing Unity game development for around five years now, and I'm really excited to share what I've learned so far with all of you. In preparation for this series, I've made this small slideshow here, uh, outlining a few key things about Unity that make it special, so uh, let's get into it. If you've used Unity before, I still implore you to join me for this presentation since you might learn something new anyway. So first things first, what is Unity? Well, Unity is a game engine, meaning it's a tool that's built specifically to help us with every aspect of game development. We as developers can provide assets like art, code, music, and more, and Unity acts as a central place where we can take all of that and turn it into a full video game. Additionally, it helps us edit and test the game uh, in many, many different ways. We'll explore some of those features in a later lesson. For now, know that it's really flexible and it's very helpful for us developers. Also, Unity includes many tools to make our lives much easier. This includes visual pop-ups that display information, like little windows, um, as well as some libraries that make the lives of programmers much easier. So there's a lot of little helpful features for every kind of developer. Now, I know a question a lot of people are wondering is what kinds of games can be made with Unity? The answer, in my opinion, is literally every kind of game. If you quickly look up games made in Unity, you can find a ton of different games across different genres, most of which you've probably even heard of. Um, for now, I've just listed every genre I could think of in like one minute where there's a game that I have specifically played before that was made in Unity. So now, moving on, I've decided to compare three engines I've used quite a bit before. Um, that would be Unity, Unreal, and Game Maker. I came up with a few things on the left, a uh, couple features that I think are important to me as a game developer, as well as I think are important to some other developers. Um, just to summarize, because I don't want to go through every single point on this table, um, these top two rows are basically how important it is to me um, to have every kind of game be possible. We kind of went over that on the last slide, um, but here I've just summarized it as 2D and 3D. Um, I also think it's really important for new developers, as well as even experienced developers, because there's always something new to learn. I think it's important to have good documentation online and good tutorials online. Now, uh, the flexible editor is kind of like those cool tools that we were talking about before. Um, and that's something that we can cover in a later lesson as well. Kind of like visual scripting, which Unity doesn't support by default. Um, where the others do, but you can download something from the Unity Asset Store in order to uh, kind of bypass the need to program things on your own. I've also included these last two rows, um, the Steam and Epic Game Store row, uh, just to show that all of these engines can have their games be made and built out, and then you can put them on all of the common stores you've heard of, Steam, Epic, Itch.io, and more. Now, I know there's a few people who will still feel nervous about starting off with Unity, but I want to assure you that Unity is for everyone. Tutorials like this are specifically designed with complete beginners in mind, including those who don't know any code at all. But we still can offer some important tidbits of advice uh, valuable to those who have used other engines or other programming languages in the past. Uh, Unity is really good for um, people who do know a little bit of code already and are looking for something new. Um, but again, even if you don't know any code, Unity is still a great fit. Now, this is kind of a and just a fun fact, I guess, but you can use Unity for non-game development purposes. I'm assuming if you're watching this, it's because you want to do game development, but it is important to know that um, there are people like scientists and researchers who use this engine to perform tests and simulate certain behaviors. Um, Unity is just extremely flexible, and it can do more than you probably thought of when you were going into this tutorial. Now, I think that just about covers everything for the intro. In the next lesson, we're going to actually get started with Unity by going over the software that we need, and I'll lead you through the actual process of downloading and installing it. By the end of the next episode, we're going to have the latest version of Unity running and ready to go.